pain is whatever the patient defines it to be. It's, as, it's whatever they say it is, it's as bad as they say it is, it occurs whenever they say it occurs. So we have to depend upon the patient's self-report. We have no objective way to measure pain, uh, no way to send the patient to the lab to have a blood sample drawn to measure pain levels. Uh, we do have some, some advances in uh, functional magnetic resonance imaging that is leading to new discoveries regarding the individual experience of pain and some of those uh, central nervous system centers that are involved in the pain experience but we still have no way to objectively assess pain other than relying upon the patient's self-report. Scientific definition that we apply is from the IASP, the International Association for the Study of Pain, and that is that pain is a sensory and emotional experience associated with tissue damage or described in terms of such damage. There are a variety of sub-definitions that we apply in our day-to-day -day, uh, work with patients. We categorize pain based upon its pathophysiology, how it presents, some of the descriptors that patients use to talk about their pain, uh, the, the severity that they attach to their pain, the impact that it has upon their day-to-day -day activities and their quality of life and so on. In general, we talk about two broad categories, nociceptive pain and neuropathic pain. And under uh, nociceptive pain, we consider somatic and visceral pain. Nociceptors are simply the afferent incoming nerve uh, conduction of the painful sensation from the periphery to the central nervous system. So if you have somatic nociceptors, somatic means body, and so you can have a peripheral injury to a limb, uh, bone injury, skin injury, so on, and that's what we call uh, somatic nociceptive pain. Visceral uh, nociceptive pain is pain that originates in internal organs, in viscera, and that's a different quality of pain from, from somatic nociceptive pain. Visceral pain tends to be more vaguely defined and generalized, whereas somatic uh, nociceptive pain is, more, is, is easier to pinpoint for the patient. They can point to an area that hurts and describe it in more uh, detailed and clear terms. Neuropathic pain, as you would surmise, is nerve pain. That's pain that arises from nerve damage or pain that persists long after prior nerve damage after the, the injury has faded and everything's healed, but there is persistent, often lifelong pain related uh, to that past injury. Or perhaps it may arise de novo in the nerve or nerve plexus, the nerve bundle itself. Um, so we, depending upon what the patient tells us and the description that they give of their pain, we uh, attach these pathophysiologic definitions to their pain. And I think all these terms are found in a wonderful uh, press orientation book that the American Pain Foundation has put together, and I'm not sure if that's available to you all yet, but uh, uh, I think that if, if it's not, it soon will be. Uh, we also talk about basal pain and breakthrough pain. Basal pain is essentially, as you would gather from the term, uh, baseline or persistent pain that's there for at least 12 hours a day. Uh, it's that so-called chronic pain, the gift that keeps on giving. It's there every day uh, for whatever reason it won't go away. And then breakthrough pain on the other hand is episodic uh, uh, exacerbations of underlying pain that usually occurs over and above the relief that's provided by ongoing medication management. Uh, the definitions of basal and breakthrough pain are uh, in constant evolution and that speaks to the advances that we are making in the science, the neuroscience of pain medicine. Uh, idiopathic pain is simply pain that uh, we can't define well, we can't put a handle on it, we can't diagnose what the underlying problem is. In medicine, if you can't put a firm diagnosis on something, you may tend to call it idiopathic, and that's basically just, I'm not sure why it's happening, but it's happening, we accept it, we'll try to treat it and move on. Psychogenic pain is a term that's uh, been under uh, some uh, discussion in, uh, in uh, the internet world in recent months. There um, are several experts that are discussing the appropriateness of this term, as you would, would uh, infer from the term, this uh, 
is a term that may be used to describe pain that uh, no physical uh, reason can be found for and uh, the, the physician may just, uh, just uh, basically uh, throw up his or her hands in, in uh, frustration and say, I think this is psychogenic and I think this is not, it's not the same as saying it's all in your head, it's saying that that there are some psychological reasons or some, some uh, mind-body interaction reasons for this pain that we don't understand. But again, this term is under fire recently and there's a, a fairly strident discussion in, in the, the pain world about the appropriateness of carrying forward this term. Acute pain and chronic pain are two terms that we frequently use. These uh, describe pain that is short-lived, Acute pain happens after you hit your thumb with a hammer or it's the pain after surgery, it's short-lived, uh, the pain goes away as the healing occurs. Chronic pain, on the other hand, is that persistent pain that doesn't go away and keeps on bothering the patient and impacting their quality of life. 